Hello listener, we have discussed about first method of dispersion, second method is quartile deviation. What do you mean by quartile? Quartile is general meaning is quarter. You are dividing into different quarters. Quarters means 25 percent of your circle means 1 by fourth part. Okay. What is quartile deviation? Quartile deviation, what is the formula of quartile deviation is Q3 means minus Q1 upon 2 means the difference between Q3 minus Q1 is called as interquartile. If you are dividing interquartile devi devi deviation by 2, you will get quartile deviation. Quartile deviation formula. What is the coefficient of QD? Coefficient of quartile deviation is Q3 minus Q1 by Q3 plus 1. By using this deviation method, you have to solve individual series, discrete series and continuous series. Let us do first problem. How to do quartile deviation in individual series? This is the formula. Just note it. We will discuss. We have discussed the formula how to find quartile deviation. What is the formula for quartile deviation is Q3 minus Q1 by 2. How you will find Q3 in individual series? You have to remember the formula. Size of n plus 1 by 4th item. You can easily find Q3. Q1. How you will find Q1? Q1 is equal to size of n plus 1 by 4th item. You will get Q1 value. How you will get quartile division Q3 value? Size of 3 into, because it is a third quartile, you are writing 3. n plus 1 by 4th item, you will get third quartile division value. Let us do some problems related to individual series. Okay. Let us solve how to find quartile devi deviation in individual series. Whatever the series, whatever the data it is given, just arrange the data in ascending order. Arrange, arrange the data, arrange the data in ascending ascending order ascending order okay how you will arrange just arrange the data smallest to biggest ascending means smallest to biggest 11 comma 12 comma 12 comma 14 comma 19 24 comma 25 25 comma 41 comma 45 comma 48 comma 63 comma 65 comma 74 comma 84 comma 90. So, how many number of items you are having? N is equal to 16 means number of items is 16. Just calculate Q1. How you will calculate Q1? What is the formula? Size of N plus 1 by fourth item. Okay, then you will get a Q1 value, n plus 1, okay, size of, size of what is n, 16 plus 1 by fourth item, okay, fourth item. So, what you will get, size of 17 by 4, means which item you just calculate it, 4 for the 16, 4.25 item, okay means 1, 2, 3, 4 means 4 and 5th the value is, the value lies between 4th items and 5th items, okay. 4.25th item means 4th item, item value plus 0.25th, okay. 0.25th means 
more than fourth means you have to detect fifth item minus fourth item. This is the method for calculating if you are getting in point item. What is your fourth item is 14 plus 0.25 into what is your fifth item is here? 19 minus 14. So, 14 plus 0.25, 19 minus 14 you will get 5. 14 plus 25 5 is a 50. 5 5 is a 25, 2 5 2 is a 10, 11 12 means 1.25 you will get it. So, what you will get? What answer you will get? 15.25 that is your Q1 value. Now, we will find out Q3 value. Next one is size of 3 into n plus 1 by 4th item means whatever the Q1 value is you are multiplying by 3 then only you will get Q3 value. So, what value you will get as size of 3 already you have calculated n plus 1 by 4th what value you got it 4.25. So, what you will get what answer 12.75th item in your series which you arrange in ascending order. So, what do you mean by 12.75? 12th item plus 0.75th. What do you mean by 0.75th means more than 12th it is having no. So, you have to minus 13th item you have to minus 12th item from the 13th item ok. This is the method for finding 0.75th item. What is your 12th item is 63 plus 0.75 60, 65 minus 63. So, what answer you will get 63 plus 0.75 into 2. So, what value you will get here 2 5 are 2 7 1.5. 1.5 you will get it. So, what answer you will get a 64.5 is your Q, Q3. So, you have calculated Q1 value and Q3. Just substitute your Q1 and Q3 in your uh, range formula. So, what is your coordinate deviation formula is Q3 minus Q1 by 2. What is your what is your Q3 is 64.5 ok 64.5. So, what answer you got it 15 point. So, Q3 is 64.5 what is Q1? So, what value you got in Q1 is 15 point 15 point 25 by 2. So, what values you got it? just deduct it. So, 5, 4 minus 2, 2, point 13 minus 15, what you will get? 8, 8, ok, 6 minus 1, 5 by 2. This is the value you will get it. 64.5 minus 15.25 ok this 4 10 5 2 this is 3 13 minus 5 5 6 7 8 this become 5 5 minus 1 4 ok 48.25 5 48.25 this value you will get it. So, 2 1s are 2, 2 2 is a 4, 2 4 is a 8, 2 1s are 2, 2 2 is a 4, point 2 5 is a 10. So, what value you got it? 24.125 that is your quartile deviation. If you are finding coefficient of QD, coefficient of QD, what is the formula? Q3 minus Q1 by Q3 plus Q1. What is your Q3 minus Q1? 64.5, 15 minus 2 is you will get 48.25. Then add it 64.5 plus 15.25. So, what value you will get is 48.25 by 75 
9 79.75 use your calculator and find out what values you will get you will get the values in denominator in decimal values if you had any doubt regarding anything just drop your comment in the comment box